Welcome back to WKYT Midmorning. June is Cataract Awareness Month. So joining us now is Dr. Michael Tanner from Able Eyes to tell us more about their in-house surgery center. Welcome. For those who don't know, what are cataracts? Yeah, great question. Cataracts are extremely common. It's the pretty much the natural clouding of the lens inside our eye. So the lens is located right behind the colored part, the iris, and its responsibility is essentially focusing light on the retina. The retina is what sends all the information to the brain, which is how images are formed. So a cataract is essentially when that lens gets cloudy and you can't get the light that you need to the retina in order to be able to focus that image. What are some of the symptoms that somebody might have cataracts? You know, what I found over the last couple of years is that it seems as if nighttime, it really comes out whenever you first start seeing the early signs. Whenever you're in the cab of the car and everything's really dark, the pupil dilates. And so therefore, the lights coming on, the, the headlights, they really reflect off of that cataract and make it scatter light. So you really start noticing glare, halos around headlights, and uh, overall, just less quality of vision. Things aren't as sharp. Um, you start, might start noticing that your reading glasses aren't really doing it for you anymore, or maybe even distance glasses aren't doing it for you anymore, when maybe you had good vision beforehand. Is there anything you can do to be preventative about this? Good question. Not really. You know, I tell everybody eating a good diet and exercising, but you know, that's kind of a cop out as doctors. <laughs> it takes care of everything. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So, um, you know, staying out of the sun, uh, wearing sunglasses helps. You know, we see a lot more cataracts near the equator. Um, whenever I went to Honduras and everybody had cataracts because the UV and nobody wore sunglasses. But mm -hmm. in the United States, not too bad, but yeah. wear your sunglasses outside, especially in the summertime. So tell us about the options that you all have for people. Yeah, absolutely. So I operate all kinds of places. I operate the hospital at the surgery center, and then we just started having an in-house office uh, office suite, uh, which we started in July, and it's had great success. Um, it's, there's different options when it comes to cataract surgery in, in regards to which lens can go inside the eye. So we remove the cataract, and then a lens has to go inside. Well, that's kind of the options that you have is opportunities where you can get out of glasses, and you can actually get, put lenses in that makes you see good at distance and up close. Nice. Is there a certain age that starts to develop the cataracts that you see more frequently? Yeah, great question. So the American Academy of Ophthalmology cites about 25 million people have cataracts, so it's not a rare disease, yeah. okay? It's actually the natural aging process of the lens, and that starts around in the 40s. So when you are have a really great distance vision, but you start realizing that, hey, I got to hold things out a little further, guess what? That's just the hardening of your lens that can't flex anymore. That's the start of a cataract. Now, do 40-year-olds get cataract surgery? Not commonly. Normally, those are more diabetics, patients on systemic steroids, in rare cases. But uh, whenever you move into your 50s, 60s, 70s, that lens starts to get cloudy. And so the image clarity just isn't as good. And that's something your optometrist can kind of help diagnose with that. Absolutely. Optometrist, ophthalmologist, any eye care provider can see that you've got a cataract and, and it refer you to the right person. All right. More information on the website. And we appreciate you coming in and talking yeah. to us. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Keep it here on Mid Morning.